Hello children. Today we are going to learn 8th lesson part 1. Your 8th lesson is role of parliament in a democratic country. Form of government. Monarchy and democracy. Democracy is again divided into presidential government and parliamentary government. Presidential government is again divided into unitary government and federal government. Parliamentary government is again divided into unitary government and federal state. Not only monarchy and democracy, different forms of government are there in the world. Oligarchy. An oligarchy is a form of government in which Society is ruled by a few people, usually a rich. Aristocracy An aristocracy is a form of government in which country is ruled by the upper class or nobility. Another form of government is a dictatorship. It is termed as a government ruled by one person or commander who is known as the dictator. Example of dictatorship government is Saddam Hussein was the dictator of Iraq till the US forces killed him. In this lesson, we shall study in detail about democracy. A monarchy is a type of government, the power to take decisions and run administration is in the hands of the king or queen. Means, monarchy is a form of government in which society is ruled by a king or queen. King discuss the matters with his group of advisors, but the power to take the final decision lies with the king or queen only. An example of monarchy is that which presently rules over Britain and is headed up by the Queen Elizabeth II. Democracy Democracy is a form of government in which the supreme power is vested in the people and is exercised by them or by their elected agents. The USA, Canada, India, etc. are democracies. One famous leader, Abraham Lincoln, who was the 16th President of United States, defines democracy is a form of government of the people for the people and by the people. The word democracy is derived from the Greek word demos and kratos. Demos means people and kratos means rule or power. So democracy means rule by the people. In democracy, the supreme power rests with the people. In other words, democracy is people's government. India is a democratic republic country. What is the meaning of republic? Republic is a form of government which a state is ruled by representatives of the citizen body. In a democracy, people of the nation participate in decision making. In a democracy, people elect their leaders by casting a voter. These leaders form the government. That is, in India, the citizen who have 18 years old and above 
can cast the water. In a democracy, the government has clarifications and provide reasons for the decision taken to the people. In this democratic country, the elected representatives form the government and are accountable to the people. The most important characteristics of democracy is that the sole power to rule is not in the hands of one person or group, but every citizen is a member in the decision-making process. Democratic government is for the people. It means the welfare of the people is the main aim of the government. Democracy is run by people as the representatives elected by the people run the administration. Democracy is known as Lokshahi in Gujarati. Two main types of democracies are direct and representative democracy. In a direct democracy, people directly take part in decision making. Such a system is clearly only practical with relatively small number of people like Switzerland, ancient Athens, etc. In representative or indirect democracy, the people elect their representatives for a fixed time period to take the decisions. It is practiced for populous countries like UK, USA, India, etc. These representatives or indirect democratic republics can be of two kinds, presidential and parliamentary democracy. A presidential form of de democracy is one in which the real executive head is the president, who is both the head of the state and head of the government, and remains the supreme law-making authority. This form of government exists in USA, Brazil, Sri Lanka, etc. In a parliamentary democracy, the legislature or the parliament makes the laws. The president is the constitutional head of the state. However, the head of the government is the leader of the majority party in the parliament. Who is the, who become the prime minister. The real administration is carried out by the Prime Minister and the Council of Ministers chosen by her or him. India is a parliamentary democracy. Parliament of India India has adopted parliamentary democracy as its form of government. The President is the Supreme Constitution in India. The Parliament of India is the Supreme Legislative Body of the Republic of India. The Parliament of India is a bicameral legislature. Bicameral is the Latin word that describes a two-house legislative system. The Indian Parliament consists of the President and the two houses, Lok Sabha or the lower house and the Rajya Sabha or the upper house. Functions of the Parliament The major functions of the Indian Parliament are 
making laws and amending the existing laws, forming the central government, guiding the central government, participating in the elections of the president and the vice president. The Indian parliament formed post-independence and it is the symbol of trust of the people of India. The main features of decision making in a democracy are people's consent and their participation. In our system of governance, the parliament enjoys complete power since it comprises the elected representatives of the nation. The concept of democracy and constitution as a form of government is originated in ancient Athens circa 508 BC. India is the largest democratic country in the world because India is the second most populous country after China. That is, India is the most populous democracy in the world. USA is the oldest democratic country. It is the only country with a continuous democracy more than 200 years old. Here ends your first part. In the next part, we will learn about Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. These are the two houses of the parliament. Thank you.